Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to change your uh, profile picture, name, and uh, create or d delete a password that uh, you want to change. So if you click start, control panel, if you don't see control panel you'll see settings in there and then control panel. Uh, once you're in there you can click on user accounts and in here you can see all the profiles that are in your system. If you see something like this it's not a big deal. Um, if you are starting up your computer, you only have one user profile and you don't have a password, yet it's still making you click it, remove this profile by clicking on it and then saying delete account, just like this, and then delete files and delete account again, and that will actually fix that problem. Now it will just sign right in right away. It won't ask you to click your user account name. Um, but let's say that you uh, want to go on it. Now this is a predefined one, but if I just create a new one here, um, and just go in and create that. I'll work on this one here instead. Um, what you do is whenever you've got one that's your own name, you can change the name by clicking on change name. Okay, you can change it to anything that you want. Okay, you can change the pa create a password if you want. Once you create a password, um, make sure you put a hint in. It's just smart. Um, if you forget about it, uh, it's much easier just to click the hint and get it there. Just don't make it too easy because if people know that answer, then they know your password. So make the password hit something that's cryptic to you but makes perfect sense to you. Uh, create a password and we can remove the password just by clicking remove password, remove password, and it's gone. Now, it, it will ask you usually to type in your password because I didn't sign off and sign back on. Obviously, it's not asking me. But uh, I'm also logged in as administrator. In the administrator account, you don't need to have any passwords. Um, you could go into anyone's user account, remove their password without knowing their password. And you can also hit change the picture here, and you can choose any one that you want. doesn't matter. Uh, you can also change picture. You can browse for more pictures. Pick any picture that you really want, to be honest with you. They do have to meet certain criteria in size. As you've seen, I just clicked that one, and it did not like it. It... Uh, it didn't like it at all, but apparently I can still do it. You still want to pick something that's uh, relatively in that size. You don't want something that's really tall and narrow being in there. It's not uh, It's not the best idea. You can also change the account type. Now, the difference between administrator and limited is the limited account is not able to actually install stuff. It, it, it's basically for, say, younger children or something of that nature. You don't want to be running this normally because it will frustrate you. You have to keep going into the administrative account and keep installing stuff or updating stuff. Monthly maintenance, you won't be able to do uh, that as well uh, in, in limited accounts sometimes. Uh, but it really limits the user, which means uh, it just makes it safer, makes it so that uh, maybe installing stuff isn't really an option, but you can still get viruses in limited, so don't think that's the perfect fix. It does help, but it's not the permanent fix. So computer administrator for most occasions is the best idea. But that's how you change anything in your account. Um, one thing that I wanted to make sure that you knew is manage my forgotten passwords, or network passwords, sorry, up here. Anything that was in here would be logins for your MSN Messenger and stuff like that. So if you remove them in here, they won't autofill in your MSN Messenger. So it's a good way to get rid of stuff in your MSN Messenger. So that's how that works. Uh, if you have any questions, I'm right here, signing off.